getting another idea, maybe doing something with water and Masaru Emoto. I'm uh, talking uh, this early morning. Uh, we're in Costa Rica with uh, Jeffrey West, uh, the author of Green Print for Life. Looking at this lovely energy behind us, so take yeah. a moment to observe, feel this energy coming into you. Unlearning, unlearning our past, awakening to the now, creating new relationships and structure mm. or structural change that honors the self, others, and our natural environment. The oneness that is life. Uh, Jeffrey, you talked a little bit about uh, uh, your journey mm -hmm. in writing this uh, this work. Uh, it covers five chapters. Yes. Uh, we were going to talk a little bit about the popcorn analogy that you wanted <laughs> to kind of, but we didn't have any any props yes. to to do that. Um, for now, we can offer offer something to uh, to the viewer and the listener, and this little fly wants to uh, to tune in as well. So we've got uh, all parts of nature joining in <laughs> in harmony right now to hear what has to be communicated at this time. Yeah. So the aspect, uh, thank you, little fly. Please leave. Uh, the aspect of where we are going. Uh, there's this loose term called ascension. The religions talk about the end of times or some form of uh, of movement towards. Uh, a higher relationship or a new transformation. Ascension is a term that is starting to come out and just like what it means ascend is to go up and how exactly do we go up? We go up by changing our relationship, our vibration uh, to the all that is and uh, we've, I've talked a little bit about a water analogy how if we alter the aspect of the water uh, we can lift its vibration it can transform from a solid to a liquid to a gas. Other people need different aspects of information to help them. Okay, thank you. And a popcorn analogy has come to mind to help people grasp this concept of ascension. When you have popcorn, basically you're hungry. <laughs> so there's a hunger that's building up within you. But as far as the seeds go, you go to the stove, you put some seeds into a pot, you add a little bit of oil, and then you turn on the heat. So immediately there is a catalyst to produce the change. So the heat begins heating the oil. The seeds or the kernels begin to react to that particular environment. So the heat gets hotter, each kernel begins to, to react in its own unique way. When you are making popcorn, you notice that the kernels all together just do not pop. All of a sudden, one, the conditions will be uniquely right for that particular kernel to move into what is almost literally its lighter body. So it explodes and becomes a fluffy, uh, fluffy kernel, kernel of popcorn. Sure. So in that moment, that kernel found the unique qualities or the unique criteria and characteristics that it needed to make its transformation to its light body. And as one popped, another begins to pop and another begins to pop until such time as you have a mass energy moving up. So the conditions begin to get better and better for other kernels to begin moving into mass transformation, so to speak. So it's taken a few of them to begin the process, then a few more and a few more, then all of a sudden everything starts, begin, starts going crazy. Invariably though, after the popcorn has been popped, you take the pot off the stove, you shake it out, you put it into the bowl, but what will you find invariably at the bottom of the pot? You are going to find some kernels that just did not pop. So how does that explain the, the human transformation? Each human moves forward in his or her distinctly beautiful moment to move forward. When the conditions and the criteria are exactly right for that soul, it will move into its next step. Then others will move into the next step. Then others, then others. So you, you are influenced by everything that is around you uh, to a certain degree. And invariably, however, as this process moves forward, each soul has the choice to either pop into its lighter body or to not pop, to stay in a denser vibration of fear, of, uh, of negativity because they don't want to move forward. So it's not that 
those kernels are, are bad or, or, well, maybe they are. They, they weren't ready to pop. Same with humanity. So the conditions were not right. So when you take the popcorn, you put it, pour it out, the seeds, the other seeds, you discard because they are not part of that new world, the lighter world of, of the kernels of popcorn that other people want to enjoy. It's the same with humans. So that the transformation will begin to separate humans that wish to move up into the higher vibration and, and to those who choose not to be a part of the higher vibration. Where those souls, souls will go, that's open for discussion, really. Uh, the earth is transforming to a higher vibration. So you have, in the water analogy, the molecules moving up to a non-physical form of existence, but the water is still there. The liquid water stays in a different place. So there are yeah. arguments that right. say that the souls that are unable or unwilling to move to the higher vibration will not be able to stay in the higher vibration that earth is becoming. So some will say that these souls will have to leave. They will have to participate in some form of event that will allow them to physically leave the earth environment to go continue their learning process somewhere else. I'm not saying that what is or what is, I don't really know what exactly will happen. My feeling is that yes, there, there is some other souls that will move somewhere else, but we and Earth are going to move into a vibration. So the popcorn theory for human humans at this point in this time is what conditions and criteria are distinctly present for you to get you into this higher vibration of life.